Now I'm joined here by Longford Town Manager Gary Cronin. Gary, three goals, three points. Are you happy with the result? Yeah, uh, it's a great result on the road. You know, it's a good good reaction to Monday night. We were disappointed, obviously, not to get anything out of the game on Monday. Um, but ultimately, yeah, look, we, we've gone on the road, kept a clean sheet, and, and, and picked up three goals and three points. So, yeah, that's a good, nice work. Wexford's never an easy place to come to, and, and especially with a, a rejuvenated Wexford side with some great additions they brought in this year under Ian Ryan. But, you know, from, from the get go to town, we're at them. It only took us two minutes to get on the score sheet. You must have been delighted when that goal went in. Yeah, I think we've started every single game we played. In, well, it's three games we played, we started really well. We've come out of the blocks really well. Um, and the same tonight and you know it's good when you get your goals because then you can obviously adapt your game accordingly and yeah I thought we were good for a lead at half time and we managed the game really well in the second half so Wexford are a really good side I think to be honest with you I think they're underestimated uh, but they have really really good attacking central players and we were able to nullify that to some extent tonight and um, yeah, it's it's a, it's a really good uh, win on the road. Just the goals themselves, you know, each individual goal was was a great goal in itself. You know, Dylan Barnett's goal from distance, a well worked set piece corner, the chip from Ryan Gray, and a little bit of magic thinking on his feet, and then an absolute screamer from Aaron Robinson in the eighty second minute. Yeah, he finally got one on target, didn't he? <laughs> um, three three fantastic finishes. Yeah, you're right. I look at Ryan's goal, and when he got in behind there, it was a, it was a great finish. And he has that in his locker, and I actually think he scored the hardest chance of all the ones he got tonight was the one he scored. Um, and Ryan, as the season goes goes on, will get his composure and get more goals for us, you know. But uh, he done really well tonight. Yeah, the set piece as well worked, um, but it was important when it fell to Dylan. He has that in his locker that he's able to keep a shot on target, and it, it, it settled us down. Obviously, getting an early goal. Um, but yeah, look, clean sheet is, is, is huge. You know, you build your build your success on, on clean sheets. So we'll take that as well and uh, just move on to the next game. We're at home to Galway next Friday night instead of the Saturday. That's going to be a massive game in, in terms of how the league goes over the next few weeks. You're obviously looking forward to that game, but what challenge do you think Galway will bring to Bishop's Gate? Uh, look, I've I, I played against John Caulfield's sides for the last couple of years now and um, always been tight. We'll know how to set ourselves up against them. We'll know how to try and attack and, and, and vice versa. Uh, but they'll be, they'll be really, really physical. I know they'll... Um, they, they'll pose a really physical threat to us, which will be a good challenge for our lads. Um, but they also have good players who can play. So they, they, they come out and try and win that battle and, and, and have players then that can, that, that can pass and move the ball. But I think we have an element of that in us as well. I think it's going to be a really good game of football. But it's going to be a really good test because when you come up against the full-time teams, it can be a bit of a psychological difference within our lads' heads. But uh, we'll eradicate that hopefully during the week and it's just uh, we see how we get on on the night. Thanks, Harry.